Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Venus and the moon make a lovely duo and how to find three planets lined up in a row. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Next Monday night, an exquisite crescent moon will make an exquisite duo with the brightest planet in our solar system. Then, throughout the rest of the week, we'll climb up the heavens and float past the brightest star of Leo the Lion and two other planets which, with Venus, will be lined up in a row. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for next Monday, June 14th, an hour after sunset facing west. And even if I didn't tell you about it, if you happen to be outside anywhere it's clear out and look at the sky, you couldn't fail to notice the exquisite beauty of the super bright planet number two, 8,000 mile wide Earth sized Venus, hovering above a magnificent three day old crescent moon, complete with Earth shine which will look like a grayish black full moon nestled within the crescent. Don't miss this, please, because it will take your breath away. But if you do, 24 hours later, a slightly fatter crescent moon will be well past Venus, but will still be close enough to attract your attention as a cosmic duo. Wednesday the 16th, an even fatter moon will be below the brightest star of Leo the Lion, blue-white Regulus. And just above Regulus, you will see the planet which was only one full moon away from it on June 5th and 6th, but which has since moved rapidly on, planet number four, 4,000 mile wide Mars. 24 hours later on Thursday the 17th, an almost first quarter moon will be almost side by side with Mars. And 24 hours later on Friday the 18th, the first quarter moon will hover just below pale yellowish white planet number six, 75,000 mile wide Saturn. And if you look closely, you will notice that Saturn, Mars, and Venus are all lined up almost in a perfect row on a cosmic path called the path of the planets, along which all the planets travel, with Regulus bumped just a little bit to the side. Once again, Monday the 14th, an exquisite pairing of a three day old moon and Venus, Tuesday, a four-day-old moon well past it. On Wednesday, a five-day-old moon just underneath Regulus and Mars. And on Thursday, a six-day-old moon off to the side of Mars. And on Friday, a glorious first quarter moon just below the Lord of the Rings. And think of this. On Monday, the moon will be 226,000 miles away, whereas Venus will be 111 million miles beyond. Mars will be 156 million miles away, and Saturn a whopping 874 million miles away. But our heart of the line regulates beats them all, because it will be a whopping 468 trillion miles away, or as astronomers like to say, 78 light years from Earth. Which means that while it takes only one and a third seconds for the light from the moon to reach us, the light from Regulus takes 78 years to reach us which means that next week we will see Regulus as it existed in the year 1932. Wow! Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Moon hop the planets and keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.